Neuroengineering engineering debris deflector installation. Before installing your neuroengineering engineering debris deflectors, be sure to completely read instruction and warning labels on the back of the package. Each Enduro Engineering Debris Deflector set includes one pair of debris deflector bars, a 5mm wrench, a pair of debris deflector clamps, four 6x25 socket head cap screws, two 8x25 button head cap screws, two 8x50 flat head socket cap screws, and one pair of bar end inserts. Step 1 includes removing the handlebar ends. On the clutch side, there's three options on removing the grip. The handlebars are hollow, so you can simply take a unibit and drill out the grip. Or another option would be to use a utility knife and cut out the end of the grip. And a third option would be to take a hammer and hit the end of the grip causing it to cut itself and just pull the grip off the handlebar. On the throttle side of the handlebars you will need to loosen up the throttle housing and slide it off the handlebars about two inches. Tighten the housing back down and then locate the end of the throttle tube under the grip and you can either take a hacksaw blade and cut off the throttle tube so then the throttle tube is open to where you can slide it over the end of the handlebars or you can take a unibit and drill out the throttle tube and be sure that there's no burrs or anything to hang up the throttle from working properly sometimes you may need to use the utility knife to clean up any uh, burrs or plastic or grip pieces left behind. Now you may take the throttle housing and slide it back over the handlebars. Let it stick out oh, about a quarter of an inch, tighten it back down, and then twist the throttle a couple times. Make sure everything's moving properly. And then when you're ready to start installing the debris deflectors, Pull the grip out to where it's about an eighth of an inch away from the end of the handlebar. Tighten your housing down. Now that the handlebar ends have been removed, you may start installing your hardware. Take one of the debris deflector bars and insert the 8x50 flathead socket cap screw. And then grab one of the non-threaded taper lock inserts and slide it over the bolt and then the threaded end will thread on and as these tighten up they'll expand. You may notice in the evolution style 7-8 setup there will be two sets of taper lock inserts one larger than the other. The larger set is for steel handlebars. On the original the re deflector set we use a hose with a nut and as the nut is tightened on the hose it expands and it holds the debris deflector bar tight. Now that the taper lock is installed into the debris deflector bar, insert it into the end of the handlebar. Using a 5mm wrench, tighten the taper lock insert until it's snug. And at this time, position the debris deflector bar so that it is parallel with the ground. So be sure that the debris deflector bar is tight against the end of the handlebar. Now it's time to install the clamping hardware. Take a moment to notice the markings on the clamp. When installing the clamps, the markings should be faced towards the center of the motorcycle. Line the clamp up with a single hole at the end of the debris deflector and use the 8x25 button head socket cap screw to attach the two together. Do not fully tighten this bolt at this time. Now take the small part of the clamp and notice that it also has markings on the one side. Be sure that the markings are faced towards the center of the motorcycle together. 
use the two 6x25 socket head screws to attach the small part of the clamp to the large part of the clamp. Start these bolts, do not tighten them at this point. Use the 5mm Allen wrench to tighten the 8x25 button head socket cap screw first. This will align the clamp in the right position on the handlebar. Before tightening down the clamp, this is a good opportunity to adjust the angle of the debris deflector. Now that the debris deflector is in the desired position, tighten the two 6x25 socket head cap screws evenly so the gap on top and bottom is the same. And the final step would be to revisit each bolt to make sure all hardware is tight and then double check to make sure the throttle tube moves properly and there's no binding. Repeat these steps for the clutch side debris deflector. 